I'm Jane Johansson. I'm Community Development Officer for Care Network. And one of my roles is to set up car schemes like this. And the car schemes are such an important lifeline to people in throughout Cambridgeshire. And I work for South Cambridgeshire where we have 30 of these schemes all over the place in different villages. But one of the wonderful things as well about the car schemes is that when people sit in cars, they talk. And they talk in a way that they might not do across a table. So one of the things that we can do in Care Network is we can pick up on other needs that people might have and then refer them on to community navigators or to help at home, which are two other things that we do at Care Network. So Peter, who is the chairman for OWLS, um, it would be really, really good, uh, Peter, if you could tell us a little bit about how does OWLS work? How, how did it all come about? And give us a little bit of background. Well, we started it about five years ago uh, because we thought there was a need for available uh, volunteers to take people around to doctors or hospitals and even some social events. People who are not necessarily old, but with families moving away so much and being all over the country, even all, all over the world, it's not easy for families to look after, shall we say, parents sometimes. So we thought there was a need and in fact that's what we've done and it's mushroomed a bit. Now we look after Oval, uh, Willingham, Longstanton and Swayze. We have 20 drivers. We have four coordinators who have a mobile phone. For two weeks at a time they take all the calls and allocate drives. My job is to sit at home during the day on certain weeks of the year and be ready to receive phone calls from prospective clients who are looking for a journey from one of our volunteer drivers. So I take the initial call, find out what people need, then start to phone our volunteer drivers. And when I found someone who can do the job required on the right day, I phone the client back, put it all in a record system, and repeat that exercise as many times as needed during the fortnight that I'm on duty. Well, without the OWLS uh, volunteer car service, we would find it extremely difficult as our bus has been, regular bus has been taken away and the guided bus at the end of our village is a, over a mile walk for me with a wheelchair. We like to keep in touch with the Parkinson's groups who meet in Cambridge at two different venues and have been very grateful for the owls to take us there as we couldn't get there by bus. And there is also a meeting in St Ives and sometimes for appointments um, such as the opticians or the dentists. Um, it certainly makes life so much um, easier for us because um, we would find it very difficult to be able to keep appointments otherwise. So do you think the car scheme and your ability to use the car scheme has an impact on whether or not you can live independently? Yes I do because um, although I do have friends in the village who are very kindly um, will offer me a lift perhaps to the Tesco sh shopping, I'm not, I don't like to have to keep asking them and they have their own you know, lives and difficulties too. So I find it is, uh, it certainly helps because otherwise we would really be quite isolated in the village. Well, I used to go because I'm not a car driver. Um, my wife who used to drive is no longer with us, so I use it to go and visit my sister who's in a care home. I think it's a wonderful asset to the village. Yes. I understand that you're a volunteer driver for the OWLS car scheme. Can you tell me a little bit about what that involves uh, and what you get from being a volunteer driver for the car scheme? Yes, I've been doing it for about three years now and when I first volunteered I didn't know what it was going to entail at all but what it involves is collecting people who can't get themselves from A to B and taking them to church, to visit a care home 
to go to the doctors or the hospital, um, whatever they need really. And it's such a rewarding thing to do. The clients are so appreciative and I like to think that um, one day I, I may need that service and I just hope somebody will be there to do it for me.